you have some psychological needs within you, don't you? Just like I do. You really want to be loved in this life. Yeah, good for you. You really want to belong in this life. Yeah, me too. Sometimes I struggle with that one. And you really want to be understood in this life. You do. And sometimes we go so far out of our way to be understood that it ruins our sense of belonging and being loved because we're chasing and needing validation and acceptance from other people. Like, hey, I like this thing. Can you tell me that's okay? Can you tell me the decisions I've made are okay? Can you tell me that I'm on the right path? Is this okay? Is who I am good enough? Am I good enough? I really like this thing. Is that weird? Tell me if it's weird or not. Because if you think it's weird, I'm going to stop liking it. See what I'm saying? See how that chase is exhausting? That the need to be understood and the need to be validated and the need to be accepted in balance, that's healthy. Because I know you're at work and you want to be like, oh, that person said I'm doing well. Or you know what? That person just validated my experience a little bit. That's all I needed because we need soundboards and we need people in exchange to bounce ideas off of, to see, okay, maybe that didn't make sense because I'm talking it out more. And my thoughts were in a tangle, like a ball of yarn. And through discussion, ooh, we made things smooth. And now they're unknotted and I can see things more clearly. And that's what I do with clients when I coach too. If you're ever interested, the link's in the description to have a chat with me. Some people who are like, Scott, I never knew you did coaching one-on-one. -on -one. I do, and you can ap apply to speak with me, even if it's just once or uh, you want to do it weekly, whatever it is. So people just don't get it, right? Fair enough. In my life, I just became tired of seeking understanding. I, I When you let go of that need to be understood, you kind of kind of feel more comfortable in your own skin and there's a confidence and security that comes with that because you just like what you like and if you're looking for approval for the things you like you start to question you start to question did I really like that do I really like that well it seems like only three people out of the 10 I talk to like it and they only like a little bit so maybe I'm weird for liking it oh Maybe I should stop doing that thing then if not everyone's doing it. Hmm. See what I'm saying? And the more we question ourselves all the time, that breeds insecurity. Because then we don't know where we stand. Do, do, I, do, I, do I like it? Did I ever like it? Should I keep doing it? Should I stop? If not a lot of people do it, then does that mean that I'm in the wrong? Ooh. And now what I like and who I am is wrong and it's not who, who I should be or what I should do. And then we live in the worlds of shoulds and in comparisons. What do you like? What do you genuinely like doing? And I'll give you an example right now. Two examples. I met this guy at a show and his thing, and he said it so confidently. He's like, I love collecting Hot Wheels. This guy's 36 years old. Loves collecting Hot Wheels. When he goes from show to show, because he's a guitarist, he's like, before the show, I'll wake up late, I'll go to Walmart, I'll see what they got in stock, and I'll buy the Hot Wheels. I'm like, do you collect them? Do you keep them in their packages? He's like, no, I take them out of the packages, I'll roll them around, bro. I'll just roll them around on my desk. I got a shelf, right? I got my touring suitcase, so I'll take them, and then I'll bring them home and put them on my shelf. And me, I'm just like, that's awesome. And it's not awesome because I don't understand what's so cool about collecting Hot Wheels. I don't get it. But I appreciate the uniqueness and I appreciate that he's so confident in what he likes. He doesn't care if I understand. He just wants to share what he likes and that's so cool. That's the cool part of being unique and of being confident in whatever you like. It doesn't matter what it is. You're going to be a cookie cutter out in your city if you just like what everybody else likes. That's easy. That's easy. Oh, did you like the new Drake album? Yeah. Fuck, that was hard. Oh, Adele's new album was sick. Great. That's tough. Here's one. 
And this is when it kind of hit me where I'm like, I just don't have to explain myself anymore. And there's Again, there's freedom and confidence and security that comes with that. Remember, insecurity is this inability and always this chasing to convince other people because it makes us feel secure if other people approve us. We feel safer, like, oh, I'm in with everybody else. Everybody else is blue, so I'm blue too. Phew, I feel safe in the rat pack, okay? What was the rat pack? Was that a show? So I'm at work, and maybe this person's listening to this episode, whatever. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to my parents tonight. It's, it's springtime, so it's the beginning of the season. And I'm like, I can't wait to cut the grass. Oh, I love cutting grass. I love working. I love sweating. I like raking the leaves. I like the, the fresh pattern. And I'm like, I wonder, am I going to do the round pattern around the tree and keep that circular motion going? Maybe I'll do a crisscross pattern today. And I wonder if I need to double cut it. And the great thing about cutting grass is you can't go too fast or else it'll leave patches. You can't go too slow or else it's going to mulch and it's going to leave clumps. I can't wait to cut the grass. And she looks at me. She's like, you're so weird. That's so weird. You like cutting grass? And I'm like, chill, Scott. Chill. Chill. This bitch is crazy. <laughs> and part of me wants to explain to her more why it's such a great experience. But then I'm just like, I like what I like. Why am I going to waste my energy explaining to this person why they should get it? Why they should get me? What, am I going to explain the whole series of circumstances that led me to this beautiful moment in my, in my experience of being human? That I grew up cutting grass. That was my first job. I cut grass with my brothers. This was our summer jobs. We had the John Deere lawnmower. I love the smell of gas. I love filling it up. I love making cash. I love saving it. You know what I mean? I love the relationships with our, with our customers. I love making the flyers. It was my childhood house, and I love going back to the backyard. You don't need to explain yourself to people. You don't need to explain yourself to yourself. You don't need to question that. Like what you like. And stick to it and be secure in that. You don't need to prove yourself to the person on the sidewalk, the stranger that you walk by. You don't need to explain yourself to your parents or your brothers or your sisters. You don't need to explain yourself to anybody. You don't need to explain yourself to yourself. Like what you like and enjoy it. And in that enjoyment, the insecurity washes away and you feel safer with yourself because... You like what you like. Say to yourself while you're doing something you enjoy, this isn't for anybody else. This is for me and I'm really enjoying it. If people don't get you, let them go. Fine. You don't have to explain. Save your energy and embrace and, and save the energy for the more enjoyment for yourself. I'm not giving away 20% to explanation. I'm bringing 20% of that back into the enjoyment. And then I'm fully in it. Mm. So you know what I'm going to do this weekend? I'm going to go up to my parents' place. I'm going to cut the grass. And I'm not going to tell anybody. And this afternoon, oh, I'm going to take a break from work. And I'm going to sit on uh, a park bench at Trinity Bellwoods Park in Toronto. I'm going to put on... Beethoven's first movement, sixth symphony, and watch the squirrels do their thing. And that's what I like to do. That's what I like to do. It's okay people don't get it. They don't have to. <laughs> Love you brothers. Love you sisters. Have a great rest of your day. This episode was actually sponsored um, by... Well, let's go with one sponsor today. Some of you find it uh, financially, uh, well, not feasible to afford my coaching to speak to me one-on-one. -on -one. And that's totally cool because the economy is absolutely ridiculous right now. So what I've done is I've put together a community on Patreon where we meet every month. We all come together. You get to chat with me. You get to ask me questions. 
We get to be part of this cool community where we meditate, we reflect, we connect. And this has been really so helpful to people. So all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash Scott St. Marie and you get to see how cheap this is. No, not cheap, affordable. This is every month. So that's one thing if you want to be part of the community. You get 100 plus videos that are private of, of the podcast and those are all yours. You get meditation videos. Those are all yours. It's pretty cool. You get to unlock a whole bunch of stuff and it's cheap. If you also want to speak to me one-on-one, -on -one, there's, there's just a small application and you just go to scottstmarie.com slash coaching. scottstmarie.com slash coaching. And what happens is when people get on a call with me, um, there doesn't have to be an agenda. Sometimes there is the bouncing back and forth of ideas. And Scott, do you get this? And I'm like, yo, I actually do get it. That's awesome. You like what you like. Sometimes people need it. They feel lost and maybe a sense of direction and someone to walk with them. And you don't have to do this alone. That's what I tell people. You feel anxious. You feel lost. You feel isolated. You feel you don't know what your next move is? You don't have to do that alone. You can do that in our group on Patreon. We can do that one-on-one -on -one together. There's so many things available to you, my friends. And it's not just, not just through me. There's so many online resources. These are just two. So if you find that, you know, you feel a sense of connection and you feel like you can trust me, uh, fill out the application form. You'll be on the email list for any, any extra um, announcements. And we can have a chat or you can join our group. So that's patreon.com slash Scott St. Marie and Scott St. Marie dot com slash coach slash flath slash coaching. And the links are in the description. Thanks a lot, my friends. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Great evening. We'll talk to you soon. No need to chase that understanding. Just like what you like. All right. See ya. Bye bye. You're cool.